Welcome to this Arnold Colourford tutorial for modern daily knitting on picking up a dropped loop in mould knitting. This tutorial is part of a series to accompany the patterns in MDK field guide number 19, Marls. All of the patterns in this field guide have been designed by the very wonderful Cecilia Campachiaro. So what is mould knitting? It's very straightforward. Mild knitting is where you hold two strands of yarn together when you're working. So in this first section of the striped mile hat, I'm working with pink and blue and you get these beautiful random color placement effects and it's really very beautiful. In the next stripe here, I'm working with two strands of the blue. I've then got a little stretch of blue and pink again. And the section that I'm working on at the moment is two strands of pink yarn. So in this kind of mild project, we're always working with two strands of yarn. Now I'm really hoping that you won't ever need this technique for this tutorial, uh, because the situation is one where you're working along and you discover that a few rounds below or a few rounds earlier on, you've dropped one of the loops. So instead of catching both strands of yarn in this stitch, you've only caught one and the other strand is hand hanging free. The technique for fixing this is ever so straightforward and it can be used for any drop stitch. And you'll just simply need a crochet hook in a similar size to your knitting needles. I have gone for one that's slightly smaller just because it makes it easier to get into the stitches. But anything that's roughly around the same size as your project needles will be fine. So the first thing to do when you realize you've dropped a loop is to catch it on something. I'm using one of these Coco Knits locking or opening stitch markers. I was knitting round and I spotted this loop hanging free. You might find it on the back of the work if it's popped through to the other side, but if you find you've got a loop like that, the first job is to secure it on something so that you know where it is. It makes it easier to find. And I've just popped the opening stitch marker through it and shut it up and it's now safely sitting there ready for me to fix it. That loop won't actually unravel all the way down because of course the other strand of yarn is um, catching it. It'll just pop through to the back if it does anything, but the stitch marker is handy for helping you find where the problem was as much as anything else. So once you've secured it, then all you have to do is work around in pattern until you come to the column of stitches that your mistake is in. So here it's in this one there and I've got to work three more stitches until I reach that point. Now that I've knitted round to the column where my problem is, I'm going to put my crochet hook through both the dropped loop and the stitch that was caught. So I've gone through the dropped loop, it's still on the stitch marker, I'll take it off in a second, and through the other strand of yarn, just straight through the middle of the stitch, you can see the top of it's there. So we've gone through both of those loops, and that's just going to make sure that we don't inadvertently run any further down than we need to. You could take the stitch marker out now, but I'm just going to leave it because a little bit of backup is no bad thing. The next task is the one that sometimes me makes people take a deep breath, but it's going to be okay. We're just going to slip that stitch at the top of the column off the needles. And we need to do that so that we can ladder the problem down and pick it back up again with it correct. At this point, I'm just going to pull my needle tips out so that I don't mistakenly drop anything else while I'm doing this. And then if you just pull the fabric apart either side, you will find that you can unknit or ladder down the stitches and you're making these strands of yarn that you're going to pick back up again. Okay. So I'm just going to move my crochet hook down so that we can see what's going on. You may find little bits of fiber catch, but that's fine. I'm just going to come behind that last one. And here we are now, and we've got both strands of yarn where the problem was occurring are on our crochet hook. And above it, we've got these ladders 
of strands of yarn to be picked back up through. Now I am going to remove the stitch marker so that it's not in the way anymore. And I've got my two strands that you can have a look at the base, just make sure that they aren't twisted, the stitch isn't twisted, but I can see here that it's going through without twisting, so that's good. And now all I'm going to do is use my fingers to spread apart the ladder of strands I need to pick up. And then I'm going to go underneath the first pair. Remember each time we pick up a row, we're going to be picking up a pair of strands because this is mild knitting. If you're picking up another kind of dropped loop, you'll just be picking up one strand. And then we kind of scoop that through the stitch that was on the needle. Find it helpful to turn the hook as you do that so that you keep the loop on. So we've picked up one row and we've now got two strands on the hook again. Underneath the next pair of strands, turn the hook to pull both strands through both loops on your hook. And that's picked that up. And we just repeat that all the way up as many rounds as you need to. Maybe you were more vigilant than me and you spotted it quickly. I clearly got a bit carried away and knitted quite a few rounds before I spotted the problem. So each time you're going to have the two strands from the row you're picking up and the two strands from the stitch that's already worked on your hook and you're going to pull the ladder through the stitch. It's quite a satisfying process. And here we are with the last one. Once you've come to the top of the ladder, you're going to pop that stitch from the hook back onto your left needle tip, making sure that the uh, right hand leg of the stitch is at the front if you knit in the, the standard Western style. And you can now see that all of those loops are picked up. We've no longer got anything hanging. There's no slight gappiness and we're ready to continue on our way. Sometimes your dropped loop won't be sitting as a neat loop on the right side of the fabric. It will have popped through the stitch to the wrong side. So this is what it would look like in that situation. You see that we've got here a loop of yarn that's not caught in on the stitch here as it should be, or rather up here as it should be. And you can see it from the front because you've got a slight holiness and this, this stitch here clearly only has one strand of yarn in it. In this situation, I'd treat it in a similar way. Pop a locking stitch marker on that loop of yarn so that you remember where the problem is and knit round until you're over that column. And then in order to secure the stitches and pick them up and fix them, you're going to get your crochet hook. And instead of going into the stitch where there's one strand of yarn, you're going to go into the last correct stitch below that where there are two strands of yarn. And you're going to just put your crochet hook, making sure you've got both, both strands. You're going to go straight through the middle of that. And you're going to make sure that your dropped loop is above it. So you can see the crochet hook is sitting. It's got the two strands of the correct stitch below it on it. Put that right the way through. And now the process is much as it was before. We're going to slip that stitch off the needles. We're going to pull through our tips so that we don't lose anything else. Gently tug the layers apart so that we ladder everything down and take the strand out of that last stitch and here we have now the last correct stitch with both loops is on the needle sorry on the hook <laughs> and on the back of the work we can take out that stitch marker that was catching the strand and marking where the problem was.
and now we can fix the mistake in exactly the same way. So we're going to use our fingers to spread apart the strands of yarn. We're going to go under two strands for each round and we're going to scoop them through the double stranded loop on the knee, on the hook. Under, turn to pull it through. Just take your time, go right across to the edge just to make sure that you've got a pair of strands that are coming out of the same round of knitting at the edge by the next column of stitches it's easier to see where that pair is and just pull those loops through each time. Take your time. If you get to the top and you realize you've made a mistake you can just ladder it back down and redo it. Oh no you see I've only picked up one there so Make sure we've got four little stitch in the strands and then pull them both through. There we go, and the last one. Once it's all picked up correctly, you just need to put the stitch from the crochet hook back onto your knitting needle and it's all fixed. Nobody will ever know that there was a problem. I do hope that's given you heaps of confidence that you can fix a mistake in your mild knitting. Being able to fix mistakes is a real game changer in your knitting. It just gives you so much more confidence when you're tackling a project. We have lots more tutorials, hints and tips over on our website. If you click the link up here, you can visit and explore. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel with the button in the bottom right so that you're sure not to miss our next video tutorial. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.